so when we get samples like this that you see from from the health facilities from outside the samples come they are packaged like that what is very important with these samples is that these samples must be uh, immersed in this 0.5 percent bleach so that we can destroy any contamination on the surface of these samples including the forms as you can see this form is wet now this is a special form this is a, a, a special form that can go into bleach and it does not get destroyed so what we do under this bleach we open this zip sometimes this sample comes in a bigger bottle or a bigger container but we are supposed to open it under the bleach everything you do under the bleach when you open this zip like this you make sure it takes the bleach in like this then you gently pour away the bleach this way so once you have gently poured the bleach then you can expose the samples like this you make sure they are tight and they are properly immersed for 10 minutes so in the meantime as this 10 minutes takes place we do documentation so this can now go inside so this is our samples when you open the sample you need to make sure that you just clean it by using bleach our tissue has bleach um, after you you've already had your sample with AVL you need to incubate the sample with AVL for 10 minutes after 10 minutes we can continue with our inactivation process before opening our append of tubes, we need to centrifuge so that it will be safe to open the tubes without con doing contamination or contaminate any other tube. What I'm going to do now is to add ethanol so that I could complete my inactivation. So now we have a uh, AVL, sample, and ethanol. So it means that we have already completed the inactivation process. In a simple way, we can say we have already killed the virus. In this section, in this workstation, we do sample extraction where ex we extract the viral RNA while uh, adhering to the standard operating procedures. We've just done the washing, washing, wash, washing step one and washing step two. So she's now doing uh, the elution of the viral genetic material. So the next step is uh, the final centrifugation step. She will centrifuge the um, elution of the elute the, for the elution step. She do the centrifugation at 8,000 RPM for one minute. Our elution step is complete and we are ready with our elute. All the viral genetic material is at the bottom of the tube and we are ready to proceed to the next step. Uh, we, are, we are preparing what we call the master mix. And basically we are just combining. Uh, for this master mix we have two tubes labeled uh, master mix A and master mix B. So we are combining uh, both master mixes in one tube before we can dispense into the PCR tubes in the appropriate volumes, that is 20 microliters. It's now trying to adjust his pipette to the appropriate volumes before he can dispense the master mix into PCR tubes. So he is now dispensing or distributing the master mix into the various tubes depending on the number of samples. <laughs> For this experiment we have three samples but we are also including uh, two controls that is the negative control and the positive control. So we will now add the negative control 
That's turning my creditors of a negative control. So we are done for that step. That is a master mix uh, preparation and addition. And the next step, we'll add in the RNA template before we can proceed over to amplification. At this session, we have autocrine and uh, all our waste before taking out of the lab has to be cleaned and the, the process of cleaning the waste is called autocaving. So under uh, this autocave, the waste is taken and um, sterilized using steam uh, at a 120 degrees centigrade under pressure. So that is, when they, after 15 minutes, when we have the, 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 the always inside here would be already sterilized and they would be safe to be incinerated.